Hello everyone, today I will be introducing the company Cutting Edge Superconductors, founded by Young Jin Kim, who is the president and CEO. This company led to the discovery of a room temperature ambient superconductor named CES 2023. In July 2023, a Korean company, Quantum Energy Research Center, claimed that their material, LK99, was an ambient pressure superconductor. Here in the image, they demonstrate the material undergoing partial levitation. However, after a scientific review, it was concluded that LK99 was not an actual superconductor. Here in the image, it demonstrates the pure crystals of LK99 synthesized by Max Planck Institute to display that the material was not an actual superconductor. In September 28, 2023, Cutting Edge Superconductors created a patent pending CES 2023, which is a room temperature ambient pressure superconductor. In order for a material to be characterized as a superconductor, it must have the following properties. The first being zero resistance below critical temperature. For example, for mercury, it reaches zero resistance at 4.2 Kelvin. The second property is levitation, diamagnetism, and quantum locking. Although diamagnetism materials also display levitation, on the left, we see an example of a superconductor levitation. On the right, we see a diamagnetic material levitation. Displaying that levitation due to diamagnetism is not enough to characterize a material as a superconductor. As we will see in the next slide, that both this and quantum locking should be present in a superconducting material. Here we see quantum locking, which is levitation below the magnet. This is due to the distortion of the magnetic field caused by the superconducting material. Diamagnets do not show this property, making it an indicator that if a material undergoes quantum locking, it is a sign of superconductivity. Here we will show a video of the material CES 2023 displaying diamagnetic behavior. In this video, you will see the material CES 2023 displaying quantum locking as the material is turned over 180 degrees. In this video, you will see both the behavior of quantum locking and diamagnetism together displaying 100% proof of superconductivity in CES 2023. The material CES 2023 displays superconducting behavior through preliminary resistance measurement and quantum locking at critical temperatures 104 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 377 degrees Kelvin. This material has many advantages that can be applied to many aspects of the technological industries. The first advantage would be zero energy loss. Some examples of the markets that would benefit from this would be electric power transmission and distribution markets, solar energy, wind energy, and data center markets. Another advantage is that there is no heat generation. Markets that would benefit from this would be smartphone and electric vehicles. Another benefit would be zero cooling requirements, which is a key factor to bettering MRI systems. CES 2023 can revolutionize almost all aspects of the technological industries, having a market size of over 5 trillion. It enables a more efficient and safer use of energy, contributing to green and renewable energy sources, helping to mitigate the energy crisis and climate change. 
I would like to introduce the team behind the company, starting with the founder and CEO, Dr. Young Jim Kim, who has a proven record of excellence in superconductivity, achieving his postdoc at Harvard Physics and Purdue. Dr. Hem Kanati, the senior technical advisor. He was the former business development vice president and head of R&D at Luvata, the number one superconducting wire manufacturing company. Mr. Victor Rivera Ulgos is the senior strategy advisor. He is the former small business administration director in New York and the national director of the Minority Business Development Agency. On May 15, 2024, cutting edge superconductors were invited to submit a full proposal to the NSF SBIR on CES 2023 anticipating to enter phase one with a budget of $275,000 and an additional $100,000 from the Puerto Rican Science Trust. Then upon entering phase two, which has an estimated budget of $1 million and an additional $200,000. On June 10, 2024, Dr. Kim gave an invited talk on superconductor exclusion principle for identifying a room temperature ambient pressure superconductor held at the 5th International Conference on Material Science and Engineering in San Francisco, California. In October 21st, 2024, Dr. Kim will also give an invited talk on Room Temperature Ambient Pressure Superconductor, CES 2023 and its applications at the 3rd International Conference on Physics and its application, Boston, Massachusetts. Currently, Cutting edge superconductors is making bigger samples for mass production and commercialization. Thank you for your attention.